And there was a free bike. That ain't good. Another rune! Go! Go! It's the web! No surrender! No surrender! So I called Sean and I was like, look, if we're gonna get 40 bikes, he was basically talking about getting some more space. And I was like, if we're gonna get 40 bikes in, I know we had ideas of grandeur for these rebels that we bought from this auction, but can we just post a video, get these things going, get them out, free up the space so we can stick 40 more motorcycles in our shop. So he gave me the green light and um, basically we posted a video, four to 600 bucks, come pick them up. It was like, there was a VLX, a Max, and there was a free bike. Um, literally, I'm hoping that this video will get all of these bikes gone. That's it. That one works. So you guys are just gonna kind of go through and just test which ones, see which ones. Yep. Which yeah. One so there's three want. here. One without a title. Two that don't run. Um, so we've gone through and checked a couple things. Cool. Figuring out what each one needs and what yeah, makes yeah. sense to, to take. No, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a good move. Yeah, we got to do. So what's your guys' plans? Well. Just get get one or two and yeah. just Yeah, learn how to ride, really. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah. We're trying to, we're trying to like, rebel gang it up. Right yeah, now. dude, definitely. Rebel yeah, that's awesome. Causes, that's the so way to go. That's that's fun right there, yeah. I was trying to push them away from it because I didn't want to have to slow down waiting for them. <laughs> yeah. What do you have? What kind of bike do you have? I've got a V-Star. Okay. Um, 650. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. It's nothing crazy fast. But, but yeah, uh, faster than a rebel. Yeah. yeah. So we're, cool. we're all going to have to slow down uh, to, we'll to rebel speed. We'll keep him safe by going slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Keep me in check. That's awesome, though. If you look over here uh, on the yeah. ground, we started this one up. Oh, and, and you just turned it off. Yeah, don't dump gas. Yeah. <laughs> cool. We waited for the hottest day of the year. Yeah, yeah, for real. The sun's up now. It's brutal. That one runs. That's the no title one. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it! Gas, <laughs> there is a slight gas leak. Yeah, slight gas leak. But that one's actually in the nicest shape. Doesn't yeah. have turn signals. I think this one's just out of gas. It might be. I honestly didn't know it. So this is the free bike. Yeah, the heaviest bike you ever load up. Yeah, the right. The <laughs> so we're gonna have to push up the heaviest bike. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, this is probably the first video Josh has been Oh, uh, what's going on? This is swipe Josh. up, swipe up. <laughs> swipe, swipe up, swipe what up. does that even mean? Yo, we're doing, uh, you know, Harry, can you grab a tie-down strap? Yeah, yep. What are you doing, dude? Oh. Oh. Nothing to add? Yeah, that's sick. Got it, keep going. Oh, oh, oh. How many you guys want? Uh, I think we'll take a two. We'll take a pair. These two? Yeah. yeah. Sick. There it is. Let me get pictures of the thing. Uh, I'm just going to go ring them up. Okay. And then just let it, if he wants the other one, we'll help him put that one. Okay. Up. Sweet. Sweet. That's hype, man. <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> Do some paperwork. Um, we sold all four Rebels. The VLX. Wait, is that guy? Oh, he bought the Rebel? Oh, I didn't know. How'd you that guy bought the Rebel, dude. 350 bucks cash, dog. No time. My man is no, strapped no down in the back of that truck. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I thought he just got the. I thought he just got the free bike. Nah, I got the free bike, and he paid three. I I cut him a fifty dollar break on the other one because the No Title Rebel might have been a hard sell to somebody. Yeah, true. We put that bike out that maximum for free. I, I knew it was gonna sell really quick, but we knew what was wrong with the maximum. The engine was all seized up. The guy came down. As he was about to leave, he actually saw the Rebel with no title, realized he could pull some parts off that, put it on his Rebel. Dude, you should have got a video of like all six people just like, Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was crazy. This, this morning, yeah. everyone, right at nine we were o'clock flying o'clock. in, dude, 8.58. Yeah. It, was like, it was like, we had a line Friday. out the door at 9 a.m. So we sold it. seven bikes today. If we can get the Virago gone and take two more pre-orders, we'll be at 10. I think seven is almost, a, I think eight's our record. Oh, for real? Dang. Eight won't leave though, but we've pre-ordered a lot. Yeah, that's insane. Man. As of right now, only four have left. So I'm killing it here at the shop. I sold six bikes this morning. I'm feeling good. I'm on like a record tear. It's the easiest six sales I've ever made in my whole life. And Sean decided that that morning he was gonna run down to, to the auction to basically grab the first load of bikes. 
to bring back up, and most of them being the bikes we're gonna stick at the corner are our brand new high songs. And he's having a tiny bit of trailer problems. All right, guys, something's going on bad about him back here. I'm not sure, something's smoking. Something's totally smoking. <laughs> Yeah, you see, it almost looks, it's not even even, it's like kind of like sitting like this. Yeah, it might just be. That thing is smoking like crazy. I don't have any tools. We're gonna see if I can figure out how to get this thing fixed. Well, at least it's not so tight that it's locking up, that it's locking up the, uh, the tire. Well, at least it's a beautiful day for something to break down. Sure is nice and sunny out here. Now, what's interesting is when you look at these two tires, that tire is clearly hanging out more. I kind of wonder if I bent the axle. I mean, I'm not even close to maxing out this trailer weight. You guys see how much that thing's tilted? That wheel, that wheel's about to fall off. If I'd have driven too much longer. I think that wheel would have came off. All right, so when I was looking down at this thing on the side of the highway, it looked like it looked like it was kind of like tilted a little sideways. Now, it's it's bad. It's really bad. So I gotta I gotta take that wheel off. I gotta see what's going on underneath there. Uh, the best way I know how to do it is we'll figure out something that we can roll the front axle on, and that'll pull up the back axle. And then I gotta get some tools, and we'll take that back wheel off. Uh, we were pretty close to rest up. Honestly, I think I would have lost this wheel pretty soon. Uh, it was smoking real bad. And I think the reason why it's smoking on the brakes is because it's leaning hard on the brakes. There's not that much clearance in there, and the whole tire is just kind of going like this. So uh, we'll get this thing figured out. A nice trucker helped me. Let me borrow these wedge, these wedge pieces of wood. I rolled the thing up on it. Those lug nuts are tight, right? Look at that. I mean, I, I, I might be able to pull it off. Just yank it off. Oh my God, what the? There's your problem. The tires fall, the whole, the whole hub, the whole thing is falling off. Bearings are all messed up and gnarled and, I don't even know what's keeping it on at this point. nothing but thank God that multiple people tried to get me to pull over and I did the fact that I just pulled that tire off with my hands I pull I literally pulled that tire off with my hands that that could have been bad that could have been dangerous that could have hurt someone man it's hot I gotta make some phone calls all right so here's what I think my plan is I'm gonna strap that axle up to the to the trailer as much as I can. I'm gonna put about, I don't know, as many tank straps as I need. I know this sounds like some type of ridiculous uh, tank strap uh, pitch, but that's all I got. And they're super freaking tough. All right, here's an idea I didn't think about. If the other tire turns, is that turning? If that's turning, this is not gonna work. I gotta figure out a better way to strap it. So here's the plan. It's 100,000 degrees outside. I got four of my baddest tank straps holding up that axle. That'll work. Maybe. I'm just hoping nothing touches the bottom. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to pull. I'm going to take that tire off and we'll just see what it looks like. I watched some, I looked up some stuff online. Can't get a hold of my brother, but people say you can do it. So, 
We'll see what happens. I'll be going slow. I'll be going real slow. But it should, should get me there. So let me, uh, let me move that tire, roll that tire off those things and see what happens. All right, we are down. Let's go see what's going on with it. Wow, I got plenty of space. That's not even close to touching anything. I'm beginning to wonder why I even need four tires in the first place. I'm not sure if any of you guys noticed, but I got another one. A black one. Yep, this is the thing. We're doing this. All right. So here's the scoop. I mean, there's a reason you have two axles on a trailer like this when you're pulling a, I mean, let's say 400 pounds of, it's not, I don't, it, honestly, it's not very much weight, but I can't have a blowout. I'm gonna be in trouble if I have a blowout on that one wheel. And there's a little bit, there's extra stress on that wheel now. Obviously, this is a temporary fix. This is a get you home and then get it fixed, have a fix. God is good, God's looking out for me. There's a reason for all this. I don't know what it is, but that's all right. God is good. All right, so I made about 20 miles. You can see we're still three wheeling it. Everything's going to go with the van. But I saw this. I was up to shoot so I could use the bathroom. Check this insane Jeep out. Yo, that thing is sick. I forgot to get mad. That is awesome. I'm so crazy about that blue. That's like my favorite blue. And this thing's rocking, what, 44? 43 inch Mickey Thompson's. It's a bad Jeep, man. I'm hoping I can meet the guy that has it. That's a sweet looking Jeep. But, on the tank strap side, let's see how those tank straps are doing. This looks like one of those like three-legged dogs. Holding like a beast. Holding like a beast. Make sure all the bikes are all good. No problem with the bikes. All right, so while I was in the bathroom, I come back out and I see these people leaving. And I was like, I, I got to stop them. I got to tell them how cool this Jeep is. Apparently, this Jeep is owned by a girl. Yes. <laughs> so tell me about this thing. Let's go, let's go, uh, let's go stand sure. in front of it. So this is like your full-time gig. You just kind of travel around, yeah. like, like destroying stuff with this destroying monster Jeep. Destroying stuff, climbing rocks, going through mud, do it all. That's so awesome. All. Yeah. And like I was saying, I'm crazy about this color. It's a cool color. It's called Chief Blue. It's a cheap edition. Um, I got oh, it. That's almost... a stock. That's a factory color. Yeah, yeah. Factory color. Didn't touch it. Just upgraded it a little, once or twice. And yeah, it looks like know? it's mildly modified. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just okay. A little bit. This is the fourth time that we've modified it. This is uh, everything now. We're gonna leave it. So it looks like just uh, bigger wheels and then like spacers on the. Yep. Spacers to jack it up a little bit. Exactly. Is that right? Two, two exactly. inch lift. I see that. Exactly. <laughs> two inch <laughs> lift. I wish. I can barely get in it. I'm six feet, but it's about a five inch lift right now. It's awesome. It's That's, cool. That is sick. And you guys are rocking the exact same trailer that we rock. This is called a. This is a buggy trailer. Yeah. And the cool thing about it is these are functional. These are like structural. You can drive right over. This is what these things are made for. They're made for big wide tire. Uh, big wide tires. Mm -hmm. So, because this is too wide, she has to drive over the fenders do, yeah. to get this thing on here. I do. <laughs> so, you have your own YouTube channel? I do. Just started it. It's Mischief Maker TV. Go ahead, go like the one video that I have up right now and subscribe. That's awesome. Well, keep on pumping Thanks, out. Man. Keep on pumping out content. Yeah. What, what is that thing right there? This, so this is a stand for shows. It's an aluminum stand that we had made. Um, we just put the. Um, the ladder from the trailer up on here and I normally flex maybe oh, okay. like the front or the back wheel up just so that you Got can it. see a yeah, little yeah, of yeah, everything yeah. underneath. So, so it, it can, one wheel can go, what is that, like 42 inches? Up. It is, yeah. I, did I just guess 42 you inches? You did and, and you got it. Freaking awesome. Pro, I'm on, the, I'm pro, on this right stuff. Right here. <laughs> that's, so it's got 42 inches of one wheel travel. Yeah. That is course. sick. There's a little more but that's high enough. That's awesome. <laughs> well cool. Uh, best of luck. Where are you guys going right now? Uh, we're heading to York, Pennsylvania for a Jeep show, so looking forward to that. Awesome. Where are you guys from? We're from New York, originally, okay. Long Island, New York. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, best of luck. That thing is beautiful. I love it. Let me know when you sell it. I need, uh, a, I need a new daily driver. Absolutely. You'll be the first to know. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. When they, were, when they were pulling away, he's like, he's like, hey, what, uh, what's your channel so we can go check it out? 
And then I was like, bikes and beards. He's like, oh man, I just watched one of your videos this morning. And I, he's, he's probably mistaken. He probably watched like a do it with Dan video or something like that. <laughs> but uh, let's get this thing back home. I can't wait to show the guys that I picked up the, uh, the rune. Love my rune, I love my new rune. I'll never let it go. Dang, yo, you got a freaking 650s, you thought, you thought they were 250s? I didn't even know, no, I was just like, eh, whatever. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. I think so, right? Yeah. yeah that's Dang. Crazy, you see me one wheeling it over here? Yo, yeah, this is crazy yet. Yo, it, just, it looks like you just burnt out the bearings. Yeah, I started like smoking like crazy, and then I, I jacked the trailer up, and no joke, I just grabbed my hands, I used my hands, and I... I just pulled the whole tire off. Are you serious? Yeah. That's freaking nuts, dude. And then I strapped it up with tank straps. Tank yo, I mean, honestly, that that right worked, there. yo. It's permanent fix right there. Good thing you got. Good thing you <laughs> got the dual axle instead of the the single. This would have been a little bit of a different ride. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you made it back. It just destroyed, destroyed the whole brake pads right yeah, down here. Holy cow. That's what was smoking. Yeah. Did you see it or did somebody like honk? Nah, people were honking at me and stuff. Serious? Dang. Yeah, it's crazy. Cool. You want to get these bikes off? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go like just find a pond and just jump in it. Yeah. Kill cool. some slushies. Yes. You want yeah, one? call him. Call him and tell him you want one. Yo, give me one. What car is he getting? Let me show you guys what's in the back of the van. This thing's freaking clean. Yeah, man. Dang. Yo, real talk. You about to switch the parts on them? Well, I don't know if that would really help us out. Oh, yeah, really? Yes, maybe it would. But How many miles are on this? 6,000. Oh, okay. Dang, dude. Yo. That's I was, wondering, I was like, man, why is this tire so heavy? Because it's a whole freaking hub. True. <laughs> Everything. Dude, you fit the root in there. Dude, you would have thought it was Black Friday here this morning. Really? Dude, legit. 8.50. People, like, the minute they saw that we walked inside, like, eight people walked in. What? Yeah, it was crazy. You remember those kids that were looking at the Rebels? Yeah. Those four kids? Two of them came in and bought two of them. Oh, really? Yeah, so they bought two of them, and then one dude came in, and he had actually, he was one of the ones that had looked at the 250 High Sung, but didn't end up getting it, and he came in, and he was looking at those bikes, and Caleb was like, yo, like, you know, we got, we're getting more of those high slings in. He's like, oh, dude, I really like those. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually get one of those. So, I'll, already one of these is so Man, today was crazy, man. I was up, I was like on the road at like 7 o'clock. Yeah, I bet. How does it make you feel? That even if this whole trailer would have caught on fire and exploded, it still would have been less than replacing the foot on your bike. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Oh, you lost 30 bikes in a fire? That'll be $1,836. At least it wasn't the bike. <laughs> bike war. I'm going to start my own motor uh, car company, and my awesome car is going to put a bike war. Bike war. Bike war. An OR. Are you saying that because that's how Atlas says it? Yeah, Fipo. Yeah. <laughs> it's so freaking cute when he says that. Fipo! <laughs> Dude, how pumped were you to see that there was a rune there? Dude, it was like the one bike I was like, actually just out of two bikes that there's two bikes that I'm like, I don't care what it sells for, I'm gonna buy that bike. Really? It was this one and then that Yamaha Warrior? Yeah, the Yamaha Warrior. What, what's this, What's the deal on those? It's like, it's got a lot of R1 parts on them. Are you serious? Yeah, the front end, what the year brakes, the wheels, oh, five. Oh, wow, okay. They got a they got a really wild, like, cult following just because people love them and... What, what kind of style are they? It's a cruiser bike. Okay. But, like, but they're, like it's, like, it's like a muscle cruiser? 
Yeah, it's pretty wild. I, mean, pretty I, I had one once. It was kind of beat the one we had. It was yeah. purple. So I'm pretty pumped. This one's really nice. Dude, that's awesome. I mean, obviously, I wasn't going to pay like a million dollars for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But if it did anything at all realistic. Even like, even if I had to like sell it and lose money, I just wanted yeah. to, I wanted the bike. I wanted to make a video with yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. We'll make money on the videos. So who really cares? When I was looking at the bike, I was like, man, which ones can I make videos with? Yeah. No, that's a good point. Sean calls me up on Saturday and he's like, hey, how would you feel if we ran bikes at the auction? And I was like, yo, that'd be sick. Let's run a few. So that Saturday, Sunday night, his brother dropped the trailer off and at like 5.30 in the morning, we all come in. All right, so we have, we bought a bunch more bikes at the auction uh, a couple days ago. It's six o'clock in the morning. We're trying to figure out, you know what? Let's just run a couple bikes. So we're, in a, we're trying to pick out a couple bikes that we've not gotten very much love on at the shop. And we're gonna put them in the uh, the tractor trailer, and when we get there, unload them. They're gonna sell at the auction in two weeks, and uh, we'll make room and tie and free up some money for the bikes we just bought. Decided to jam three guys in a, uh, on a bench seat. Why are we going? Why are we going west? That's why I said. I was jumping on 222. Unless this is a void highway. No, you remember call. last time we, we cut through like go, we go down 30. Tolls. I don't want to avoid. I'm, I'm oh, good, okay. I'm good with tolls, man. Okay, then go on and get on 222. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Yes. We usually have me avoid tolls. Get this, man. Oh. Just saying, it makes the tolls are free. Oh, they, they gave that to us? No, it's ours. The tolls are free? No. <laughs> So we just got here to the auction. Sean's brother is about an hour behind us uh, with his truck and trailer with all of our bikes that so we're bringing it down to the auction. But we kind of know we got to get, you know, get it moving because the first time we got here, it took us a while to load all these bikes up and we know we don't want to get back, you know, we don't want to have like a 14 hour day trying to get these bikes. So we, uh, the truck and trailer just got here. These are the bikes that we are sending to the auction. We gotta unload these, which should be pretty quick. And then we'll go about 20, 20 more bikes. But we're gonna be packing, packing them in a lot tighter. And it is hot outside. It's like 95 degrees outside. It's a little bit hotter here. All right, so how many are we gonna fit in here? 11? Right. Trying to fit 11 in here. And that means we only have to fit, I think we got 25 bikes, does that sound right? Something like that. Yeah, so we don't even have to fit that many, many more. So we just finished loading up the Penske truck. Thank goodness, I love when that truck is done. I hate loading that truck. Now we have the big, like 54 foot semi truck to load. The cool part about this is we actually load them sideways instead of in rows. And we found that like two people moving them in sideways, one person scrolling, one person strapping down is actually the quickest way for us to get all these bikes loaded. So we should be able to load a ton of bikes super fast. We're on the home stretch. The only problem is it's about 108 degrees in the truck. All right, so we're still in here. It is temperature uh, 106 degrees. Are you serious? Yeah. Serious? Super nice in here. Yeah, it's awesome. And we got plenty of room to fit all the, and we kind of, we may have packed up two tights, now we have 
all this much space for just two bikes, which is awesome. So we just got done loading all the bikes. Thank goodness that's the hardest part of the whole day. None of us have eaten since like six o'clock in the morning. We're all freaking hungry. We actually got done a way ahead of schedule. The, the last time we did it, we left by like four o'clock. We're actually leaving, I think by like 1.30. The only thing is when we do get back, we have to definitely unload the Penske because we got to get it back before they close because we don't want to be charged for another day of running the Penske truck. That would really kill us. Awesome feeling, we just got home, 30 bikes, the whole way back from Philly, nobody got injured, nobody got hurt unloading it off of like a gigantic semi truck. It's a great feeling knowing that all these bikes are off the truck, they're safe, they're in the shop, we have no more work to do. Now I just gotta put them all up one line. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on notifications. Yo, what's up?